Uh, I'm talking to uh, Ahmed Farhat, uh, union representative, uh, uh, four stations. You can know the station cuts are happening all over Sydney, uh, Ahmed. Uh, why do you think it's important to save these jobs and what does it mean for commuters? Well, I mean, uh, you know, Rycorp uh, have been uh, for quite some time trying to uh, get this uh, uh, agenda, uh, which is uh, staff cut and staff cuts only uh, when it comes to frontline staff. Uh, the uh, uh, thing behind it, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, they're saying it's the money, but they, uh, if they look at the... Uh, you know, when, when we come to a uh, private enterprise, the uh, overhead is about 12 to 15 percent. In the oil industry, the overhead is about 45 percent. And we have been uh, uh, trying to pass this message on to the government. The government keep ignoring it. They just uh, only about six or eight months ago uh, advertised 25 CSM position, uh, which is on about 125, 130 thousand dollars a year. And that those those uh, pe- those uh, people in those positions, they don't have the basic uh, 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 requirement for the for, for the being on the station, and it's a safe working. If something happened on the station, these guys will be pushing the the reminder of the uh, uh, staff on the station to do their dirty work while they're standing there looking at them. Uh, so uh, it, the the current. Uh, uh, Labor government is not interested in saving jobs, uh, while the uh, uh, the federal government is uh, uh, giving millions and millions of dollars to state government trying to boost uh, employment. The state government, uh, instead of doing that, in the, uh, the uh, state government actually slashing jobs. And I don't know uh, uh, the uh, these. Uh, 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 we need to get that to, to the, the uh, attention of the uh, federal labour, which is we we have been, uh, and uh, there's no uh, we haven't got any uh, uh, favourable response yet. Uh, when we talk to the uh, uh, New South Wales uh, government, they say no one will lose a job. It's not the uh, case. It's the case is uh, to look after the uh, uh, patronage and the com- commuters on the uh, and especially the commuters in the knee uh, when it comes to wheelchairs, mothers with prams and, and kids, uh, the needy people. Uh, there be no uh, no one on the station to be able to uh, uh, safeguard those people. Uh, Rock or uh, representative uh, on the staff reviews, uh, been telling us that's a function for the. Uh, a train crewing, a train crewing aren't aware of this. They say, well, if that's the case, then the trains have to be delayed because yeah, currently the uh, train crews don't have the ramps. They can't get off the train and assist mothers with ramps and 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 luggage as well. Uh, those sort of things uh, not being taken in consideration. Uh, deterrent. Another thing, which is they failing to understand that you need someone on the station as a deterrent. So people know there is someone out there uh, to see what's going on and what's happening. Uh, but uh, uh, that's the only way that you can be uh, uh, stop vandalism, attacks, and uh, uh, those sort of things on the station. So you know, uh, it's, it's amazing the state government haven't got the message yet. Uh, thanks, Ahmed. Um, when the uh, Premier does arrive today to give his uh, little talk, what would you like to say to him? Uh, well, uh, what, what any other commuters will be saying to him, uh, that, you know, they need safe, uh, on-time, reliable services. And if that cut, it's going to go ahead, uh, no, none, none of that will be able to be delivered. And the state government's already on the ropes of losing the next election. And if they implemented their agenda in relation to the rail industry, they definitely that will be the last nail in the coffin of the Labor government in New South Wales.